this is Jay from Relax Therapy. Today I'm going to be showing you the items that I received in my October's Essence Beauty Box. The box has the Essence logo. On the inside you have the paper that has the Essence little sticky label. You have a card that goes over all of the products. When you open the card up you will have the products that were recommended by the various ladies that come together to make up the Essence Beauty team. Inside the box, we have Essence Body Works Coco Shea Leave-In Conditioner. This is a, a, a conditioning treatment to improve the manageability of the hair. It is sulfate free and safe for color treated, chemically treated, curly or straight hair. The next is the La Accutane Shea Butter Hand Cream. It has 20% shea butter and it has a super rich balm that penetrates quickly to protect nourish and moisturize the hands. Next up is the creme brulee whipped curl cream by Curls. This cream styler will define, defrizz, and moisturize your tresses, leaving soft curls without hold. We have the Calvin Klein Eternity Now fragrance. It has a bright addictive floral fragrance featuring succulent fruits and radiant flowers enveloped in a soft cashmere veil. And lastly, there's the Tarte the Brow Architect All-in-One Brush, Pencil, and Underscoring Concealer. You can shape, line, and define your brows with this simple tool. So in total, I have a couple of hair products, hand cream, I have a beauty item, and I have some perfume. Now that you've seen the items, let me share my thoughts. I was most excited about the perfume. I love the way the perfumes smell. I, I love perfume in general, so I love smelling good and I love trying new perfumes. So that definitely was the thing that I was most excited about. The next item that I probably was most excited about, it was a toss up between, well no, it wasn't a toss up. It was definitely the Brow Architect Pencil. I like that I can now have an item that can do lining and shaping. I haven't had a need to use the concealer part of it, but I do like that it's all in one kind of an item. And next is the hand cream. I, you, you can always use a good hand cream. I'm guilty though, because I always go back to my tried and true hand cream, but I do like trying new things just to see if something better is out there. And then the things that I probably was least excited about has nothing to do with the brand or product effectiveness. It was the hair products. I have so many hair products on hand right now that I probably would just stick these in a product bin somewhere and likely forget about them. I'm just being honest. I, will, I, I always struggle when I'm getting subscription boxes to use the hair items just because I have so many hair items. I do like things that I can put to use really quickly and that is the fragrance and the brow pencil and the hand cream. So I really, really like those three items the best out of everything in my box. Let me know what you think of the items that I received. Do you think it's worth $20 a month? Is it 20? I think it's 20. I paid for it so long ago because I subscribed at the Essence Festival. I think it's $20. I'm on auto pay. Eh. Anyway, do you think it's worth about $20 with the items that I received? So drop me a comment below and kind of share your thoughts. Are you a beauty subscriber? Did you like your box? I want to hear from you to let me know what are your thoughts and, and kind of what you're thinking. Please give me a thumbs up on this video. Please also subscribe if you've not already done that. I thank you for watching and tuning in as always. Until the next video, be blessed.